Hello, sweet soul. Happy Sunday, May 7th. This will be your second reading. We're going to call on St. Michael. St. Michael, please return to sender. Anyone sending ill will, your thought, word, or action toward myself or the viewer, we're going to call on the Holy Spirit, angel saints, spirit guides, and ancestors, and ask for a message for your greater good. Um, well, let's see what advice they have for you guys. This is the angel and ancestor deck. What advice do you have for the collective? What advice do you have for the collective? Thank you. One more. Two more. Okay. We have follow the voice of your soul. For many of you, you're getting downloads. Your higher self is communicating with you, giving you inspired action, giving you clarity. Surround yourself with protective energy. Make sure you're cleansing your space, protecting your energy. Um, and they want you to trust, Sky Father, trust in the unknown, okay? There are forces working in your favor that you can't see, and they want you to trust. Shield Maiden, they want you to make plans and focus. The bottom of the deck is be brave and honest. Okay, so. get the cosmic reading cards. What advice do you have for the collective, please? What advice do you have for the collective? Celestial teacher. This keeps coming out. You guys are meant to guide and teach other people, okay? That's part of your destined path and whatever way God guides you to guide other people. Continue to believe and have faith. Regardless of the circumstances you find yourself in, they want you to continue to have faith. You may feel like you're in a momentary period of pause with this timeout card. It may feel like there's nothing happening for you, but change is occurring. This is card number 32, which reduces to a five. Change is happening that you don't see. You're actually transforming and regenerating in this timeout energy. That's the feeling they're giving me with the tree that's on this card is you're transforming. And so this timeout period was necessary for your growth. Yeah, you stand in integrity and they want you to continue to stand in that space of integrity uh, not jeopardizing what you know is right for you. Not settling for less. Celebration. You're going to be celebrating soon. Wow, that's beautiful. Okay, so now we're going to try the starting beginnings and see what comes out. What advice do you have for the collective, please? What advice do you have for the collective? What does your heart want? Be free to manifest your heart's desires. Be clear with your intention with the universe. What, what do you want in your future? What do you want to manifest? Be specific. Embrace the dark. Shine your true light upon the earth. I just heard see the light in every situation. See the light. Life is an expression of you. Life is more than existing. You're meant to express yourself in this life. Who you really are. That's part of your purpose, your destiny, the self-expression. Dream big. Dream with your heart. It's a part of manifesting as well. Let go of a fixed plan. Allow for spontaneity and growth. You are bright energy. Color uplifts you. You have healing energy. Be, feel, receive abundance. All that you desire is achievable. That's awesome. Okay. So let's just get a couple from the tarot and see if there's anything that they want you to work on. <clears throat> what 
what does the collective need to know or what do they need to work on? Yeah, making plans for the future, seeing seeing the brighter side of things, seeing the bright light. Um, yeah, seeing the goodness from past experiences, what's coming from that experience, releasing stress, anxiety, and worry so that balance can be restored in your life. The angel of God coming in and restoring balance. Queen of Pentacles, you're in this very grounded, stable energy. You're abundant, you're loving, you're kind, you're nurturing. And they want you to know they need you to continue to have faith because your wishes are coming true. Even if you feel like you're in a momentary period of pause where you just don't see, you don't see the fruits of your labor. Balance is definitely being restored for you. And for many of you, it's financially. You may have felt stuck or stagnant financially, but that energy is being balanced out. Yeah, career and finance. For many of you, you may be offered a new position or you may open your own business. Um, it's gonna bring in more finance. It's gonna balance things out for you. Now you're definitely moving away from, from sad energy, feeling like you missed an opportunity or, you know, what was meant for you, you didn't have, or you didn't receive. You're not in that energy anymore. You're really just focused on planning for the future, knowing that what's coming in for you is far greater than the past. So you're not in a sad energy. Now, maybe in the past you were in regards to, you know, either a marriage or a family situation that didn't work out, but you're not in that energy anymore. Yeah, you closed out a cycle. For some of you, it was with a fiery energy, Aries, Leo, Sag, or someone in that fiery energy. That cycle's completed now, and look at this. Now you are in your power. This could have been a destined partner to you that went down a wrong path, so God took you away from that energy Now you're very passionate, you're very driven, and I see inspired action being taken. There's a sudden change that's occurring. This sudden change is a brand new opportunity that you are not expecting. You're not going to see it coming, but God, the angels and saints, the universe has been planning this for a while. You needed to be in the right energy in order to be able to receive it. And the time is now. that one yeah you do have someone in have heavy inner regret they have this cup of love they have this deep love for you but that ended because God saw what you didn't see God heard conversations that you didn't hear God knew the things that you weren't made aware of and God didn't want this person in your energy any longer. You have a destiny to fulfill. It's part of your fate, your destined path. This person couldn't go with you. They wouldn't evolve, they wouldn't learn their lesson. So God removed them. Your destiny is to help guide other people in your community. Three of Pentacles here. So that people can release themselves from this mental trap imprisonment the projection of other people to get to make them feel trapped which is an illusion they're not trapped teaching people how to plant their seeds how to manifest new doors opening up on your destined path learning how to release the burdens 
and level up to this Empress energy, being in divine feminine or divine masculine energy and understanding how, how that affects your manifest manifestation. You may get information about someone that was slandering you in the past. This is someone who is a jilted lover, I heard. Someone that's bitter. They didn't treat you the way they should have. They didn't honor or respect you. They weren't loyal to you, but they're angry and bitter that you move on without them. This is someone that refuses to go within and self-reflect. This is someone that refuses to do their shadow work. But you're empowered now and you're unbothered by thoughts, feelings, or reactions from other people. You're laser focused. You're an interested in love bombers. You're just not. You're focused on your path and what you're being called to do. Yeah. You found out the truth. You know, you went through this heartbreak with someone that they just wanted to win at all costs. God gave you the truth so that you could level up, so that you could stand alone, that you could know your value and worth. You gained so much confidence through this very painful situation. Um, but it was something that you had to experience because that was the only way you would realize that you had the strength and you had the talent and ability to be self-sufficient. There was no other way for you to learn this. It took a past life karmic connection in order for you to figure this out. You were the star all along. Victory will be yours. Happiness, success. Now, Spirit's guiding you now. It's a one-way ticket to victory. Because you trust. You have blind faith. A soulmate. A true divine partner is coming into your life. This is a connection that is divinely protected. That cannot be tampered with, tempted, or destroyed by dark, low vibrational energies. Yeah, it took you being in this Queen of Cups self-love energy to call in this King of Pentacles. Someone that could have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn placements or just someone that's very, very stable. Yeah, whoever the cold and detached energy was could have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius placements. There's no hope. There's no hope in that situation. Not because you're not where you need to be, but because they refuse to heal. They refuse to put in the work. They refuse to get out of dark energy. They they refuse. And so they may have free will, just like you do, but you use your free will to tap in and, and to rely on God, the angels and saints to guide you. And so because of that, you know, you put in the work and now you're being guided toward a new path, one that consists of divine love, equal give and take, emotional fulfillment and happiness. Yeah, you're the high priestess. You have high honor, high ranking in heaven. You're very spiritual, you're very connected and you're very loved. And God, all, God saw all that was done to you. The Ten of Swords, the confusion and illusion that your past person projected to others to try and deflect blame is all being returned to this person. All of it is going straight back to whoever did this to you. They had rejected or abandoned you and God is here to say this person will be at a financial loss. This person will be abandoned or rejected. This person will be surrounded by chaos and conflict. Being breadcrumbed by others just as they breadcrumb you. And that's not something you wished. This is something that God deemed was just. This is a karmic partner that's gonna bring this person their karma. Yeah. Wow. So, you're definitely on the right path. Don't worry if life seems stagnant right now. You're in a momentary pause for growth and change is coming. Change is coming because you've earned it. You've done the work. 
and you're in your highest vibration and you're trusting and you're vibrating in the energy of love. And when you're in the energy of love, no lower vibrational energy, no matter what they send you, is going to affect you. When you release fear of judgment of other people, when you truly do not care about what is said about you behind your back, you become a very untouchable force because all of your energy goes into the divine and it comes back to you. That divine energy, that divine love, that trust, unwavering faith, it comes back to you in the form of good karma, new experiences that are aligned to that high vibration. All right, guys, this is the reading I have for you. I love you. I hope you have an amazing day. Bye-bye. Or night, I should say. Bye-bye.